of coach. <laughs> okay, so when I was in high school, I was put on Accutane because I had really bad acne. And basically my skin and my lips were just falling off because it, my skin was so dry. And coach gave me a tube, a Blistex chapstick. Okay, hear me out. We could not find, me and my mom, we could not find any chapstick in all of Gadsden that did not have camphor in it. And on top of being in the choir, I also played trumpet in high school. And if you had camphor in it, it would mess up your embouchure. So I was like, no, gotta stay away from it. And Coach had some in her desk. She had like three tubes of it and she gave it all to me. And that just like made my entire whatever, like my year, like that just made me so happy that just, it was just something that little that she gave me. And Coach honestly has impacted my life so much. Like she, her and Miss Garmin were basically like mothers to me all throughout high school. Um, whenever I needed anything, I could always just go in their office, have a chit chat. Um, many a tears were shed in that office. Many a laughs have were shared in that office. And Gadsden City Choir Department is truly not gonna be the same without you, but I am so happy that you're retiring. You deserve it. Um, you worked so hard for it and you have changed so many lives. So congratulations on your retirement and I hope to see you soon. Um, yeah, love you. Bye. My favorite memory with this corner is probably gonna have to be whenever I'm like, I feel like I need to talk to someone. It's, it's like, I can just go to Miss Cornet and it's like, she'd be there for me and you know, help me out in every situation I have. Hey coach, Adam, Th Adam Thorpe here. Um, I hope you're doing all, all right and, uh, and uh, congratulations on your retirement. Um, if you wanna know how you've impacted my life, uh, you taught me how to be generous compassion and uh, you taught me how to care for others and how to have feelings for others before yourself you taught me to be generous and taught me to be level-headed and that in any situation the calmer heads prevail every time and that's something that stuck with me since I graduated high school back in 2011 uh, favorite memory uh, lead kind of leads into that what you've taught me and how you've impacted my life um, I've tried to skip class one day and of course you caught me <laughs> Um, but you told me, you said, if you're willing to skip class and skip school, what else in life are you willing to skip? And that really hit home with me. It taught me that I need to not start something and not finish it. I need to, if I start something, I need to go through with it and see it through to the best of my abilities. And I uh, just thank you for all the life lessons and all the memories that you've given me, Coach. And um, I hope your retirement goes well. Hi, Mama. While I have many memories of you as a mom and also as a choral director, um, one of my favorites of you as coach is standing beside you um, at so many all-state choral festivals and singing Alabama. Um, it truly really is one of the memories that I will keep with me for the rest of my life. Okay, what is my most favorite memory of Miss Cornette? My most favorite memory of Miss Cornette is that she always made time for her students. You know, she, whenever I needed help with trying to perfect the note or trying to perfect my voice or trying to like, to perfect my craft and all, she was always right there to help me and pull me to the, to the side and practice with me alone or give me a one-on-one -on -one session. Miss Cornette was patient with me. She, you know, she was kind to me. It was times where, you know, I did push her buttons and, and you know, she she still never gave up on me and I and I appreciate her for that. How my life has been impacted by Miss Cornette. Both her and Miss Garmin taught me a lot of things when it comes to music and performing, you know. They taught me a lot of things that I didn't know prior to joining the choir, you know. When I first joined Gaston City's choir, I was nervous, I was timid, I was basically scared to like really showcase my voice because, you know, I was always told that my voice was just too deep to be a professional singer of any sort, or, you know, just to be singing and all. And, you know, Miss Cornette, both Miss Cornette and Miss Garmin helped me 
to be comfortable with my voice, help me to perfect my voice. And you know, I just cannot thank Miss Cornell en enough for what she has done for me, which how she has impacted my life and my music journey as well. And you know, like I always say, when I make it, they will be the first to to know. And Miss Cornell, I love you. I just ask that God please bless you and you know be with you on anywhere that you're going. You know, I love you so much, Miss Cornette, and I just wish you luck in the future. I think my favorite memory with Miss Cornett was when she was helping me with Allstate, and that was my first time doing it. And she really helped me a lot with it. And um, she's just really sweet and She's lovely, and she's one of the um, the best teachers I've ever had, for sure. She's just really amazing, and it's sad to see her leave, but I'm glad that she can spend time with her grandkids now. I love you, Miss Cornut. Well, Annabelle, the time has come, and I sure am proud for you. As I make my way over to the auditorium to do yet another event, one of these days, I'm going to be joining you, and we can all sit out on the beach and talk about good old days. Hope you enjoy your retirement. Hi, Ms. Cornette. Um, well, I'm in New York City right now, but um, one of my favorite memories from Ms. Cornette is <laughs> just uh, while we're uh, practicing for um, uh, If You Give Me a Chance on my senior year, and we were just having fun, and you were just like playing the music. Like, we were, I just remember all of us having a great time singing together and everything else, and it was just a fun time. Um, what really impacted me was, Ms. Uh, Ms. Kanat, you really helped me boost my confidence, you and Ms. Cameron, but you really helped, like, boost my confidence in my voice and everything, it made me feel confident, and I don't know how much I can say is thank you. And now I'm um, at my school living a dream as an actor, so. I really appreciate what you're doing in my life, and I love you so much. Bye. We love you, Miss Cornut. We love you, Miss Cornut. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We still love you, Miss Cornut. Where you going? <laughs> going to do some music. <laughs> oh, love. For real, though, Miss Cornut, we love you, and we really will miss you. Yeah, we really will. Thank you for being an awesome teacher and and show and showing us your love for music. Mr. Nutt, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the experiences you gave me in high school. I would first like to apologize for the experiences that myself, Austin Waits, Michael Panic, and David King gave you. Uh, favorite memories would be seeing the expression on your and Mrs. Garment's faces whenever we uh, showed up late or whenever we got back from Guthrie's or Chick-fil-A or wherever. That was a great time. And also in uh, Alabama Honor Choir in Tuscaloosa, man, you were the queen of running some red lights. I just want to remind you about that. Great. It was too fast, too furious. You're too fast, too furious. What you taught me, uh, you taught me that a sense of humor goes a long way. You just got to have one if you want to have fun in this world. You brought a lot of light to our classes and a lot of great times. And I really thank you for that. It was awesome. I hope you have a great retirement. Go out there, have you some fun. Just do it big. Get wild. Thank you. Good morning, Lana. This is Russ, Russell T. I'm over here in Jacksonville being busy being a principal and not retiring like you. I tried to form a committee and they wouldn't let me to block it. But anyway, we love you so much. We've had so many good times, so many laughs, so many lunches at the courtyard. I think about the highlights that day in Tuscaloosa when you played that organ with us at Emma Sansom. That's wonderful. I think about that piano lab and how instrumental you were in, in making that happen. And I think about the fact that you taught my kids and made a difference in their life. And I thank you. I wish you the best. And, you just love on those grandbabies and we'll just keep making music together. Happy retirement. Hey, Ms. Cornette, it's Laura Minton. My favorite memories are going to California and Allstate with you. 
I'm thankful for your kindness and patience, and I hope one day I can impact people like you impacted me. Thank you. Hey, Ms. Cronut, this is Amy Menton. I want to thank you so much for your positive effect you've had on literally thousands of students. One who happened to be my daughter, Laura Menton. You've taught so many students music, piano, voice, theory, but more importantly, you've been a good friend, an encourager, a listening ear, cheerleader, and, and we can't thank you enough. It was so comforting to know that no matter what was going on, you were always there for Laura and for every student. Um, my favorite memory was one time we had a scheduling conflict, and it was between um, Titan Ambassador and Allstate at Sanford. And we were stressed for time, didn't know how we were going to be able to fit everything in. Somehow, you talked someone with reserved parking into giving up their parking space. And you literally stood in their parking space so that I would be able to pick up Laura as soon as the event was over. So I had a front parking spot in a parking area that had about a thousand cars in it. And you literally stood in their parking space and waited for me to pull my car around there so no one else could get the parking space so that I could pick up Laura and get her to her event. Not only did you do this for me, but you did multiple other things for so many people. You always found a way that if anyone wanted to be involved in music, um, you found a way to encourage them, even some people who couldn't really sing that well. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we thank you so much, and I uh, hope you enjoy your well-deserved uh, retirement. Hope to see you around soon. Thank you. Hey, Ms. Cornet, it's Amy Tomlinson. Uh, first, I want to tell you congratulations. I cannot believe that you're already retiring, um, but you so deserve it, and I know you're ready. Um, I want to thank you so much for the impact that you've had on me. Um, as my choral teacher at Gadsden City. I don't know what choral would have been without you. Um, and I don't know what they're gonna do without you. You definitely taught me to love the art of singing and music. Um, and I'm so thankful for that. I, to this day, will ride in my car and sing at the top of my lungs and think about all the things that you and Miss Garman have taught me. Um, but congratulations again, and I know you're looking forward to retirement. I love you so much, and I wish you nothing but the best. Hey, thanks for being a great teacher. Enjoy your retirement. <laughs>